Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Hacking Our DSi. And in this episode, I will be showing you how to install Unlaunch on your DSi using an SD card. Now, you must already have watched both of my previous videos. Again, you didn't have to do the NAND backup, but I do really, really recommend you do so. But you must have the homebrew menu installed in, in order for this to work. Now, also, you're just going to go ahead and need your same SD card that you used for both videos. And then you want to take and you're going to need an SD card again, an SD card and the DSI. And you're also going to need a computer. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. And we're going to go ahead and see us on the computer. Okay, so once you're on your computer and your SD card is plugged into the computer, you're just going to want to come to the link that is in the description right here the unlaunch website and you're just going to want to go ahead and scroll down. Now I do recommend you go ahead and read all of this, but if you have followed all my instructions, you shouldn't have a problem. We can just go and jump right into it right away. So all you want to do is click on this link right here, this unlaunch right here, and it's just going to go ahead and download it to our files. Don't worry about that one, that just means I already had it installed. And we're just going to go ahead and click on that little file folder to open up our files. All right, so here is the unlaunch zip, and we're just gonna want to go ahead and hit uh, extract if you're on Windows, and we're just gonna go ahead and hit extract. Now just give it a second, it should go quickly, there's not much in the file folder. And here we are, unlaunch. You want to go ahead and go inside of unlaunch, and here is that unlaunch DSi. All you're gonna to wanna to do is click on it, not double click, just click on it, and we're going to need to rename it. You're going to need to rename the whole thing unlaunch. Make sure it's all lowercase dot NDS. All right. So dot NDS right here. Do it and then hit OK. And now it is an NDS file. Once you have that, we can just go ahead and drag and drop it onto our root of our SD card, just like so. And with that, we are done on the computer. I'll see you back on the DS. Okay, so now that we have that on our SD card, now all we have to do is once again, plug it into our DSi, like so. All right now you should probably figure out how to install an SD card into the um, DS, if you haven't already. Just go ahead and open it up and as always we're just going to want to go to our homebrew menu by going to the camera having the sd card selected and go to album again if you don't have this then it will not work and you're going to need to go ahead and watch my previous videos there'll be links in the description okay so now once we have that we're just going to want to come down all the way to the bottom past the fw tool and go to unlaunch.nds and we're just going to want to hit a on that and then this re weird page is going to pop up it's got some like front of the boat or something on it but that's does not what matters let me go ahead and focus in and here we can see it says how to install how to use uh how it works install now power down or uninstall we're just going to want to come here to install now and hit a and then once you see that installing installation complete you can just hit a again and then we're just going to want to scroll down to power down and just hit that a button and now you have officially installed on launch and now we can just go ahead and turn on our ds and here it boots up the unlaunch system we see we have no, no cartridge in we have wi-fi boot options launcher system settings all of this a uh, nintendo dsi shop all of this stuff right here so technically you could keep this this in general is really good but again you could just click on launcher and we can just go ahead and open our normal DS just like so. So if this video helped you, please don't forget to leave a like, please don't forget to subscribe, and for, please don't forget to comment down below if this video helped you. Thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.